Okay, Leafs fans, a little bit of an upgrade in this game. Leafs win against the Blue Jackets, a huge W, and let's get this one going because I'm mighty excited to finally report a win in the Leafs column. What is up, guys? My name is Nicholas Garcelle. Welcome back to another video. Toronto Maple Leafs win 5-4 over the Columbus Blue Jackets, and it was a doozy of a game from start to finish. Really, really good stuff from coming from Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, Columbus Blue Jackets brought their game today, and the Leafs backed it up, and that's what I loved about this game today. So let's start off with the positives for Toronto. Start off with a heat, a fire under their tush, and they needed this one, especially with the Boston Bruins playing tonight and just on the cusp of tying us in points. Wouldn't be ahead of us, but would tie us in points today if we did lose and the Bruins win. Start off scoring, good. 8.06, Pierre Engvall, David Camp off to Ilya Mikheyev for his 10th goal of the season. Ilya snipes Mikheyev, first goal of the night, and Mikheyev makes it 1-0 Toronto. Only about seven minutes later, it's the pass from Timothy Lilligren to Michael Bunting. Mitch Marner front, 22nd of the season. Mitch Marner lights the lamp, second of the game. And the Leafs with a beautiful 2-0 lead. Three minutes later, sharp. Austin Matthews parks himself in front, 40th of the season for Austin Matthews. Mitch Marner, TJ Brody with the assist. 36 apples in the year for Mitch Marner. Chasing down Morgan Riley. Morgan Riley, watch your back, man, because Mitch Marner is coming for those assists and the assist total for the Maple Leafs. It's 3 nothing Toronto. They have this one full control. However, second period starts, and we know how the Leafs like to give up the Leafs. A minute 45, Sean Corrali from Max Domi puts it in the back of the net. Ninth of the season for Sean Corrali. You got yourself a 3-1 game. However... With only about a minute and 10 seconds left to go in this second period. Andrew Peet and Gustav Nyquist off to Bjorkstrand. Bjorkstrand in front. Lugren left him all alone. Bjorkstrand was left all by himself. Puts it in the back of the net. No trouble against Peter Mrazek who was in a match scramble. And it's 3-2. to two, But it gets worse ladies and gentlemen. Gustav Nyquist. Third period to Max Domi. Jack Roslovic, power play tally for the Columbus Blue Jackets. 228 into the third. And we got a tie hockey game. How? How do they manage this every time? I can't do with this team. Oh, Alex Kerfoot scored. Alex Kerfoot, Wayne Simmons, the Jason Spezza, Alex Kerfoot, four minutes into the third period, and he lights the lamp, ninth of the season. Kerfoot on the fourth line, love the adjustment, knowing that we want to have Robertson in the second line and bring Kerfoot up when Robertson's not playing that well. He played damn fantastic, and so did Kerfoot in this game. Kerfoot grabs himself a goal, and the Leafs take a 4-3 lead. But just shy of five minutes in the period left to go. TJ Brody, Austin Matthews, scramble in front. Finding the puck is Michael Bunting. He bunts into the back of the net for his 20th of the season. And Michael Bunting makes it 5-3 Toronto. Does it end there? Maybe. Maybe is the great question because Jacob Voracek finds Zach Wierenski, finds Patrick Laine. And what does Laine do when he plays Toronto? He scores. 22nd of the season for Patrick Laine. One minute left to go in this one. Another great goal. Not a power play goal. Uh, they did have a power play at the end of the game, but they did not score on the chance. They score with an extra attacker on. Uh, Patrick Laine scores. The game would end there. Thank goodness. Some big plays by Peter Mrazek at the end of the game. Some big clearance by the Maple Leafs at the end of the game. And they win this one. Stats were nuts in this one. 35 shots to 33 in favor of Columbus this time. First time in a while the Leafs have been outshot. Uh, it's not a first for everything though because hits, they always get out hit. 22 to 9 in favor of Columbus. Face off, they won by 3. That's a big thing against the Columbus Blue Jackets because they are a high heavy face off percentage group. And we won by 3 face offs, 39 to 36. Uh, penalty minutes, 13 in favor of Toronto with 9 for the Columbus Blue Jackets. We did not score on the power play, the one chance we had. However, um, a power play goal 
coming from the Columbus Blue Jackets out of the three chances they had. A couple giveaways, a lot of takeaways in this one, but not too many giveaways. Only three for Toronto, only four for Columbus. 15 takeaways for Toronto, 16 for Columbus. The three stars in this one. Max Domi finds two apples in this game. He was even at zero, but had 15-12 a time on ice, so very good for Max Domi. Michael Bunting, a goal and an assist, plus three on the day, and a 14-37 posted in this one. Austin Matthews, a goal, an apple, plus two, 18 minutes and 20 seconds of time on ice. Bellissimo, great play. Great game by Matthews and Bunting. Great game by the potential future Maple Leaf, Max Domi. Uh, we'll get into that in later videos. But let's wrap up the goaltenders, shall we? Elvis Merzlikens. Five goals against, 28 saves, 33 shots against, and an 848 save percentage. And Peter Mrazek, four goals against, 31 saves with 35 shots against, and an 886. So, a couple things to take away from this one. Um, not a bad game coming from Nick Robertson. He was minus one. Had a couple shots, a hit, and a block. Um, John Tavares, the same thing. A couple shots, minus one. So, yeah, it was pretty much just Matthews and, and Bunting who had a very good game. Engvall actually had an assist in this one. Um, Mitch Marner had a goal and an assist as well, but was not as impressive as Michael Bunting in this game, especially Michael Bunting being 900K. So... Um, yeah, really good game by Toronto overall. Has some slip-ups, but they picked it back up, and that's what I wanted to see. That's what I wanted to see from Toronto. The fight. I haven't seen that fight in a while. And finally, the Tiger came out of his cage. They came attacking the Columbus Blue Jackets in this one. The cannons kept going in the... Oh, man, I, I don't even know the arena name of the Columbus Blue Jackets. My apologies. But the cannons kept firing, and the Leafs kept firing right back. Uh, so really good job by the Toronto Maple Leafs. They absolutely nailed down the Columbus Blue Jackets. We're going to take a look at the next game for the Toronto Maple Leafs. But before we do that, let's get a little standings update. At the time of this video, the Boston Bruins, 3-2 loss in overtime. And the Toronto Maple Leafs, a 5-4 win in regulation. So the Maple Leafs jumped to 76 points. And the Boston Bruins, 73 points. 57 games played for Boston, 56 played for Toronto, and the Maple Leafs now four points back of the Tampa Bay Lightning, who have 55 games and 80 points. Panthers smoked the Buffalo Sabres today, 6-1, to one, so they stay at first, 81 points, 56 games played. Tampa still has a game in hand. Um, I'm sure that'll be made up in the coming days. So, Maple Leafs, looks like they're going to have a couple big games coming up. Uh... They don't play, I don't believe they, oh, they do play tomorrow. So they will play tomorrow, March 8th, Seattle Kraken, Phil Grubauer projected in net, Jack Campbell will be the net minder. Um, this one's going to be in Toronto, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Don't forget to watch that one. It should be a very good matchup. Last time the Leafs played the Kraken, they embarrassed them, and now they're coming to Toronto to get another butt whooping in front of them. So we'll see. We'll see how this game goes tomorrow. But I do believe that the Leafs can get back on track. Have faith, Leafs Nation. Don't lose hope. I was really, really happy to see this type of game today. Even though the Leafs blew a lead, you know, stuff happens. And that's going to happen to a lot of teams, especially playoff teams who are playing guys and teams that are just trying to fight for wins in the season because they don't get a lot of them. So um, yeah, that's all I have to say for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more of these videos, and please make sure to turn on your post notifications to get notified when these videos do come out. One more thing, please, please, please make sure to share this video with your friends and family. Helps me out a lot, and I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys.